in science. In this video, let's find all the factors of 100. And I'm going to use a method similar to the rainbow method. And I'm going to write a 100, excuse me, a 1 here and 100 over here because I know 1 times 100 equals 100. And then find all the numbers in between these two numbers that multiply together to equal 100. I'm also using this helps a divisibility rules chart because it helps me know if a number is divisible and I'll leave a link and it's a free download if you think that would help. So let's begin with the number 2 because the next number is 2 and I know 2 goes into 100 because it adds it ends in a uh, even number or a 0 and so 2 times 50 equals 100. Next is 3 and if I add the digits of 100 together, it in order to be divisible by 3, it needs to be divisible by 3. And 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, so it, 3 does not divide into it. The rules for 4 are if the last two digits are divisible by 4, and 0, 0 are divisible by 4, so I will write a 4. And 4 goes into 125 times. Next is 5. I know that 5 goes into 100 because it ends in 0 or 5, and 5 times 20. I'm closing the gap. Next is 6. For 6 to be divisible, a number divisible by 6, 2 and 3 must be, so 3 is not, so that eliminates 6. 7, I know that 7 uh, does not go into it. 8, what you do for 8 is divide it. 2 times by 2, so 100 divided by 2 is 50, and 50 divided by 2 is 25, and it must be an even number for it to be divisible for 8, so 8's out. Uh, 9 is out because the rules for 9 is the sum, of the, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, and so 1 plus 0 plus 0, that doesn't work, and 10 goes into 100 10 times because it ends in a 0, and I'm going to write the 10 here and cross it out because uh, I don't want to write it twice. So here are the factors of 100. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. Now here's a trick to see if we have all the digits. You can create a, uh, you can find all the prime factors that go into 100, and then I'll show you a little trick. So 2 goes into 100. 2 times 50 is 100. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 goes into 25 excuse me, 50, 25 times, and now 5 times 5 equals 25. And I am now down to all of my prime numbers. So the prime factors of 100 are 2, 2, 5, and 5. And you can rewrite that as 2 squared times 5 squared. Now here's the trick. You add 1 to each exponent, so three plus, excuse me, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3, and multiply these together. 3 times 3 is 9, and that tells you how many factors you should have. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have all the factors of 100. I will circle them. And as a bonus, here are your prime factors of 100. I hope that helps. And this playlist, if you need more information on finding factors, should help. Thanks for watching, and Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.